Hello guys, my name is Alifio, and along with my teammates Muxin, Naman, and Vedro, we will be presenting about pervasive computing systems and architecture. Okay, so what is pervasive computing? Pervasive, as defined by the Oxford Dictionary, means existing in all parts of a place or thing. Or, it means spreading gradually to affect all parts of a place or thing. Computing, on the other hand, means the fact of using computers. Pervasive computing, also known as ubiquitous computing, is an emerging trend associated with embedding microprocessors in day-to-day -day objects, allowing them to communicate information. If you're still a bit confused, you might be familiar with the term IoT, or Internet of Things, smart lamp, home assistants such as Google Home or Alexa, are some real-life examples of the idea of pervasive computing. Pervasive computing itself is not a physical computer, rather it's just an idea that eventually normal everyday objects will be connected with one another. Now here are some examples of the applications of pervasive computing. E-commerce use, a home pervasive system or smart home, healthcare industry, security system, network devices, and many more. Let's take a home pervasive system. You woke up early in the morning, blasted by your Google Home alarm. It reminded you that there is a meeting at 9 a.m. and that you need to go off to work earlier. Long story short, you, your wife, and your kids all went out. In your smart home system, make sure to turn off all the lights, AC, and electricity devices to save power. So that's just a small example. Now here's Nama to talk about the architecture of pervasive computing. Now we are going to discuss about the architecture of pervasive computing system. The basic architecture of any pervasive computing system consists of three areas. The first one is computing or smart pervasive devices. These are nothing but input and output devices such as phones, sensors, cameras, and etc. These devices collect data and transfer it to the software via the network. Some examples of the network include traditional LAN and wireless LAN. After receiving the data from the network, the software will process the data and produce an output. Let's now move on to the three layer and the five layer architectures of IoT. The three layer architecture consists of the application layer the network layer, and the perception layer. The five-layer architecture is basically the same as the three-layer architecture, except that it has two extra layers. These layers are the business and the processing layers. Perception layer is so usually known as physical layer. Usually, they are using sensor to detect the object on their surroundings and perceptive about it. However, the information they gather is depending on the program that has been set best based on the purpose of the device. For example, temperature scanner uses the sensor for only measuring the temperature of specific things, such as person and or the room. The network layer, network layer bounds the device to the server. Our perception layer receives the data. The network layer is sending the data to the application layer. It transfers the data through the sensor in the device and usually the most vulnerable layers and it is sensitive since it is sensitive to attacks. So the next layer is application layer. This layer defines all applications in which IoT has deployed. It is the interface between the end IoT devices and the network. This application layer is responsible for data formatting and presentation. Also, it's responsible to deliver specific applications to the end users. For example, smart homes, smart cities, smart TV, and etc. Transport layer are acting as the bridge that connects between perception layer and processing layer. The data will be transmitted to the processing layer to be analyzed and stored through the network such as Bluetooth, LAN, uh, RFID, NFC, and etc. Processing layer are also known as the middleware layer for IoT architecture. 
This layer stores and analyzes the large data that come from the previous layer, which is the transport layer. After this layer analyzes the data, they manage and provide various set of services to the lower layers. The example of services that used by this layer is databases, cloud computing, and big data processing modules. And the last layer is business layer. The layer that handles the whole Internet of Things systems, which includes users' privacy, business, profit models, and applications. So basically, it is the business model itself.